know a DIY project can be totally intimidating if you're new to the do-it-yourself world, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Teresa Falmer from Home Depot is here to help us ease a little bit of that anxiety and get some good things done around the house. So we welcome you to the show. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about Design College. Well, Design College is something we decided to offer at our store at Valveston Broadway. Only at that store? At, only at that okay. store for the next six weeks on Thursday nights from 6 to 8.30. And what it's designed for is those people that are having a hard time getting started on their project or unsure of the steps that are involved. Right. So this takes them through the steps. Each week they get to do a hands-on project. I show them the ins and outs of all the process of what that week involves. So for instance, tomorrow night is getting started on the project. And what I do with them tomorrow is I help them um, pick their colors, show them how they get their inspiration, and create a color board. So I've kind of brought some of the things here today I need this to for my laundry you. room. I wish, yes. I wish I had taken a picture. Um, I actually painted a square on my laundry room uh -huh. of a shade of blue. And then I think on the other wall I might have a couple shades of yellow. Okay. And that was like two years ago. And I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> and, and you can't move on past that, right? Can't pick the color. Can't figure out what I need to do. I'm totally overwhelmed by the project. See, and that's what happens. I see people in the paint department all the time just not sure what paint color to choose. So it helps to have that inspiration piece, that starting point, that's something that inspires you. It could be a piece of art or maybe a bedspread that you just bought for your bedroom. Anything that you love, that mm -hmm. you fall in love with. Also, take some time to look through the magazines, the home magazines. I'm telling you, there's so many wonderful pictures in these magazines. Tear them out when you see something that inspires you. Tear it out and start a notebook. They don't like that at Barnes & Noble that much. No, you have to buy the magazine first. <laughs> but it's really a great way to get inspired. Once you do, get, it, get yourself a notebook okay. and start collecting these pictures oh, okay. that you love. If it's this happens to be the chandelier that I thought was really great, I ripped it out and put it in this uh, Okay, so sleeve. as you're looking at this, do you mm -hmm. like it because of its dark espresso color? Or do you like it because of actually recreating it like so I'm trying to understand when you get this inspiration is it for the the colors and kind of the mm -hmm. fabrics or is it for exactly you know the, the recreating theme, the theme the whatever inspires you I happen to be doing this college based around more of an outdoor theme okay and so what I loved about this was it, number one it's unique it went with a color palette that I was looking for and it does kind of lend itself to kind of be an outdoor feel when you look at it, just the texture of it. Let's talk about figuring out the cost involved. And I, do mm -hmm. you walk us through that process? Because sometimes I walk into um, Home Depot and the inner crafty in me goes crazy. Mm -hmm. But then I fill my basket with all sorts of things like, you know, I've been known to go home with these. I don't know how to do this. I don't <laughs> know why I bought them. But right? they spoke to me. So That's right. how do you kind of budget for, you know, the cost of a project and, and really all the supplies that are needed? Well, first of all, you want to come up with a, a, a design. And that's where people end up spending more money is because they don't really know what they're looking for. Okay. So start pick, going through the stores, take a little field trip, go through there. We have a lot of samples. You can get uh, samples of the wood flooring and little carpet samples paint chips, whatever color theme, and then get yourself a little board like this and start putting those items on your board so you can see how the color looks. I saw this on Million Dollar Decorator last night. That's right. Do you love that show? <laughs> I do. I like all those. You have to, yeah. Shows. <laughs> and then your paint chips, and you can see the colors start to work together. Okay. And this was what inspired me, this piece of fabric here. So you can see all these colors work very nice with this particular piece of fabric. Do you need to know your dimensions so that you don't go crazy? Like if this is going to cost, I don't, I'm like just, you know, a mm -hmm. gazillion dollars per square inch. Mm -hmm. Do you need to know your measurements to know if, if it's part of your, um, you know, planning budget? Yes, and that is something, too, you want to do in your notebook. And again, I'm going to show this in the class tomorrow night. I have a page here, and I'm actually going to go through the process of how you would measure your floor and how you fi figure out your square footage on things, your paint, square footage, how you do that measuring. And then you actually, on the back of your board, you're going to want to keep a list of the items that you're choosing, put the prices on there and the model numbers and the colors. All those things are really important so that when you go in to buy or purchase, you're ready. You know what you want, you know how much you want, and we can help you get it put together. Last little bits of helpful advice and, and 
please explain what you have over there on that. Well, these are, again, all in the next six weeks, we're going to have different classes. We're going to be showing how to make candlesticks in one. Is That's, that PVC piping? Yes. And Get it, out. And it's marbleized to look like marble. See? And that's look next that. week. I'll be here to show that. So look at that. For that. And then th down here is the last class of the college, which is the um, blinds and window class. I'm going to show you how to make this really great wall art. And you actually get to try to make it yourself, too. And all the things down below here are all prizes. How about that table? That Wait. table is going to be in the flooring class. I'm going to teach you how to do mosaics, and they also get to do mosaic <gasps> stuff in that class. Oh, wow. I Isn't can do my great? whole back patio. You can. And it's so easy, and it's fun. I'm telling you, it's addicting to do mosaics. You said easy. <laughs> I don't know. Easy. Oh, my gosh. That's a planter underneath. <laughs> can yes, you see that? Oh, my goodness. That's a pot, and there's a waterfall because I'm going to be showing a fountain and waterfall class so you how to make your own or you can buy one. That's Teresa, you and I are going to become very good friends over the We're next six weeks. We're going to have to weeks. come to the college. I think I might have so to. fun. At least to a, for a couple of them. I know. <laughs> All right, so this is just a small sampling of what you're going to find at Home Depot's design college classes, but again, they are only held at one location. That's where Teresa is. They're held every Thursday starting tomorrow through August 4th from 6 until 8.30. The Home Depot location that we're talking about is at 425 South Val Vista Drive in Mesa. So if you're interested, give them a call. Tomorrow you're going to learn how to set up your plan, learn how to measure everything, and generally get on the right start to recreating the space in your home that you've had too much anxiety to start. Could be, I don't know, maybe a laundry room? <laughs> call them at 480-396-0227, extension 132 or 156. Information right there on your screen. Steph's just waiting for Teresa to go, well, I'll come out and do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen. I'll help you.